Morning, 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 everyone. Welcome back to another Coffee with Vince. All right. The game on the slab for today, which will just kind of just be relaxing, shooting the shit and everything like that. Game for today is Call of the Wild, the Angler. This is actually the first time we're actually doing this game on uh, Coffee with Vince. Should be interesting. <laughs> well, yeah. Um, if anyone's new to Coffee with Vince, just watch the other ones and you'll figure it out. <laughs> it's pretty much the most relaxing format we have when it comes to the stream and just pretty much anything I do. Um, it's very low energy. Very, um, there's just pretty much no goal in mind unless we come up with a goal. And even then, the goal itself is very relaxing. Nothing stressful. Nothing, nothing important. <laughs> it's just, you know, we're just here to chill out, talk to each other. If, you know, there's people to talk to in the mornings and all that stuff too. Usually, here's the thing. Since it is the morning, it, you know, just almost not a lot of people to talk to. <laughs> it's usually the case. So I'm usually here talking to myself, coming up with topics to talk about. And that's how it is. That's how it always will be. <laughs> Doesn't matter how many people I have, you know, talked to. You know, I always have to come up with something <laughs> at some point in time. All right, so I need to go all the way over here. And so I just need to follow this road. Don't turn. Keep going. Keep going. Keep, yeah, just pretty much stay on this road. So as long as it's don't turn into any turnpikes, I'll have to keep, a, keep an eye out. Yeah, the driving in this game is a little floaty. So you'll probably see me overcorrecting at times. <laughs> it is a fishing game, first and foremost. Whoa. What's that? So, when it comes to pretty much the rest of the week, you guys are probably... Why is he so buff? <laughs> Wait, what is the fire? I, I'm looking, I wanted to look at this real quickly. What is the overall things? Low, moderate, high, very high, and extreme. You give Smokey the bear run for his money. <laughs> I wanted to say. Yeah, we uh, we finished all of our playthroughs this week, which is nice. So Starfield, Sonic Frontiers is done. We'll be coming back to Sonic Frontiers uh, on Friday just for a little bit at, at the very least. Probably check it out for a few hours because there's this apparently the big update. And, uh, I'd be stupid not to check it out, apparently. <laughs> so, I was like, alright, I'll check it out. Check it out for a few hours, see how it goes. And, uh, if it's, if it's really worth putting in a few more hours, if not a couple, uh, like, you know, ten or more hours in. Because it's supposed to add on to the story. It's supposed to continue the story. So I'll probably be doing that. So even though the playthrough is done, there's probably going to be an extension. So it's one of those very few playthroughs I do that doesn't quite finish when the credits roll. So 
then today too is uh, archive day. So, and I kind of forgot the archive on Friday, so I have archiving to be done for, I think I needed to archive Thursdays, Fridays, Monday, Tuesdays, and today's stream. <laughs> so I have a lot of archiving to do. Okay. Let's keep on the road. Just hug the right. Discovering places, yeah, I want to stay to the right on here. All right, cool. It's like, yeah, the more I travel, the more I don't have to spend my time on the road in this game. Which would be nice. Because I want to spend most of my time fishing. If I can't spend most of my time fishing, what's the hair what's the point? <laughs> it's supposed to be a fishing game, isn't it? I don't see no fishing, it ain't no fishing game. <clears throat> I am tired though today. Woke up really early. Because uh, Lara, Lara and my mom have been going to the gym together lately, and um, so I'm on baby duty while they are away. And sometimes I haven't really been checking what time they go to gym, but I think they go to gym around four or five o'clock. So, yet today though, however, she kind of uh, Claire woke up, <laughs> and. Um, so I was like, okay, well, they're probably only going to be at the gym around 20 or 30 minutes and all that. And I've gotten, I've done it twice now to where Claire, for the most part, can only, you know, usually goes to sleep if she's, you know, in her mom's arms and she gets her milk. And, um, <clears throat> but if it's early enough in the day... I can put her to sleep by just rubbing her back with just like three or four fingers. And, uh, yeah, so I've, I figured that out. But she has to be, it has to be early enough in the day. And then she has to be tired enough to just say fuck it. <laughs> so Claire says fuck it. She goes back to sleep. But now I'm in the position to where I can't go to sleep. So I'm waiting for Lara to get back home so that way we can comfortably oh, comfortably move uh, Claire and everything like that. My right arm fell asleep and everything because I'm like, I'm laying on the bed like this and I'm trying not to also move to wake her up, <laughs> wake Claire up. How many croaky old trees is that? About two by my count. I'm sure them visitors will be flocking from all over to see him. But the lucky buck gets it for free. Six more to go. Lucky you. Oh, there's six more to go. Okay, I didn't know there was a a certain limitation. Yeah, new location discovered. Yeah, so we're not fly fishing per se, but we are going to be real fishing. <laughs> so instead of like bomb fishing, or in this case float fishing, we're going to be uh, casting lines and doing a constant pool. I don't know, they're, I think this mission they're gonna show me how to do uh, twitch and um, I th 
think it's... I think it's cast? Well, it's not cast. No, I'm trying to remember which ones are going to try and show me. There's like two other techniques in the game that you can do. And, uh... I think that's what they're going to try and show me. Yeah, man, I'm trying to figure out what the symbol is. It is point of interest. Railway. Alright, that's cool. Alright, I think once I get the fork in the road, go left. <clears throat> but yeah, by the way... Our month is right around the corner. Technically starts on a Sunday, but we won't really start it un until Monday. So, yeah, there's, there's going to be that. Also, there's something nearby. Ah, what's this? Quarter of them oxides sorted. We'll be pulling out the daisies in no time, Buck. Yeah. So... Pretty much after today's stream, and if I have enough energy and stuff like that, like, I'm most likely not going to stream tomorrow, but, however, we will, most likely, of course, get a lot done tomorrow, though, even if there is no stream tomorrow, because whenever I don't get to stream, I get a lot of other stuff done. <laughs> so, either way... It's always good. Okay, so nighttime. Make your way to the mission area during that time. So, how do I pass time in this game? Is there a bed to go to? So, 1900 hours to 600 hours. And how do I check the time? Okay. Well. I don't know, it's 1,300, oh, well, almost 1,400 right now. They're gonna teach me how to night fish in the game. And I have to, uh, but, but, however, they don't teach me how to, <clears throat> what do you call it, pass the fucking time. So I don't know if there's a building I can go to that, like, go into a bed real quickly. Oh, wait. Whatever that is. Watch, this slowly turns into Texas Chainsaw Massacre. No authorized personnel. Yeah, I'm kind of wondering. I don't think I have my own personal cabin, do I? Because if I did, it would be it would make things easier to like pass the time. I might have to look it up. Let's look it up real quickly. How do you pass time and? Call the wild, the angler. Is it Google's 25th anniversary today? Whoa. All right, call the wild, the angler. Is it only 20 years old? I thought there was older. Um, call the angler. Oh, call the wild, the angler. How to pass. Time. So you can pass time in Hunter Call of the Wild. But sleeping. So someone says no. According to some. Exiting the game, main menu, and relog in resets the day. Not sure if it works. 
Hmm. Pass. How to pass time? Let's call. Let's call the wild the hunter. It's not what I'm looking for. How to change time and call of the wild the angler. How to change the time. You can change the time and call the bad angler by changing your server and joining a new one. So they don't really have a uh, bed mechanic or anything. Well, I guess I just gotta be patient. <laughs> So say we all. Well. What are we going to do for... I guess maybe I can... Try and fish for some fish... While I'm waiting for the time. Don't know if there's any fish I can catch though. Um... Oh. That's the wrong type of reel. Uh, hmm, hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. Oh, no, that's not it. That's the greenhorn. I want the maiden. All right. Yeah, so the other two styles is jigging and twitching. Yeah, but since I'm just kind of passing the time and all that, I don't f really know if uh, I'm actually going to catch anything with my current setup. <laughs> Dang it, I didn't know I was going to actually catch something. That's why I was actually going to... That's why I was just, uh... I was just dicking around. I wonder if it took my bait. Alright, so note to self, if I want to drink my coffee, make sure I'm not reeling something in. Holy shit, how strong is this fish? Uh, I might not be able to... I might not be able to catch this fish. Dude, this thing's gonna snap the line before I can even do anything. What the fuck is this fish? <laughs> Alright, I'm able to drag him in now. <laughs> it's strong, whatever it is. Jesus. Well, this should keep me uh, busy until uh, nighttime.
God, it gets so fucking tight. <laughs> Fuck me, <laughs> it's gonna snap. Oh, it's like playing, uh. Yeah, it's pretty much playing tug of war with a fish at, with a very thin line. You're trying not to snap the line, but you're also trying to win. Fuck, oh, man. Can't wait to get some stronger line. To be honest, I need stronger line, but also need a need a I need some better gear. That's whatever I'm about to catch. Oof. If I catch it, that thing thing is he could probably snap it right there. I was about to accidentally cut the line. It's this is a six pound pike. Why was he so fucking difficult to catch? <laughs> it's just six pounds of pike. I mean, it is a pike, but damn, dude. Too bad you can't keep the fish. <laughs> the one thing about, I guess, all the wild, the angler, is that there's no fish trophies that I know of. I don't know. Hmm. So, that fishing prospect... Yeah, I almost got to 1,500 hours. To see if I have a spinner on mine, or I don't. Oh, there's a fish right there. I highly doubt he's gonna see my uh, my bait. Of course, All right, making sure. Yeah, I got a spinner. Spinner seven hook. That's the best cast I can do so far. It's about a hundred feet in that direction. Or is there a better way to cast? So notice you have to kind of del like delay, delay your let go. Because in real life, I actually let go like up to here, and it just it gets shot all the way to where I need it to go. But in this game, it looks like you let go of the line, like, right when it's, like, at peak throw. And technically, like, in real life, if you do that in real... Well, if you do that in real life, it slams the water. <laughs> so, I don't know. It might be cut because of the type of pole I'm using, too, though. Doing that one mistake though. <laughs> Drinking coffee while I'm trying to reel, reel in. Oh, there we go. Let's see if we got another pike. This probably is another pike, but uh, hey, 
I got my power dialed in and shit. It's probably not as big. I don't think it was as big of a pike as I had last time. Nope. Smaller. But hey, we're getting better with the spinner bait. Our mastery is improving. Our mastery is improving. Wah. What happens if I hold? Oh, so you just hold the jig like that? Oh, that makes it so much easier. So what happens if I do twitching? Oh, but it's not going to work with the spinner bait. That's so cool. So all I have to do is just hold a button, an extra button down to get the, uh, the twitching motion. See, I don't need to twitch with these fish. <clears throat> large mouth. Hey, it's the biggest large mouth I got, though. Looks like I'm breaking records every fucking day I'm in this game. <laughs> I need to get her... Character. I need to get the character a hat, man. He needs one. It's like, look... You look kind of special. <laughs> you need a hat, dude. <laughs> I need to shave too, which I'm I'm waiting to shave until the beginning of uh, Har month. And when the thing is, I don't know if you guys ever noticed this in the past few years, but the beginning of Har month is also the beginning of uh, where I grow out my beard for the. Uh, the winter season so yeah the the big old beard is coming back again but it won't be as big as that one time when we were in montana yeah that's that's about as big as my beard has ever gotten was when i was in montana and it was also because of i think it was uh they were a zombie or mega i think it was zombie though that uh redeemed the whole don't shave for a full year so it's like okay well I did that I don't know not a lot of people know about it but yeah I I, sh I didn't shave for a whole entire year and uh, the proof is in the uh, the videos <laughs> I grew that beard out so it, is, it was the beard that inspired Lars dad to grow his beard out again and uh He's had his beard out ever since. So it's like, good I can fluence someone. <laughs> it's always nice. And trust me, men, if you ever come, come across a girl that says they don't like beards, they don't know what they're missing. Because <laughs> the one thing I've always heard from any woman that has their shit put together, you know, shit together, is that if they could have a man that has a full beard and also is very loyal to you, they're in heaven, apparently. <laughs> it's like they're loyal, you know, they're not fucked up, and <laughs> they have a full beard. That's a damn fine catch. <laughs> Hey, another one. It's 2.15 pounds and the length is 1.4 feet. That's the best one I got. It's still a bronze though. Man, I got a uh, got Frey over here. <laughs> it's just kind of laying about. All nearly willy. The dogs have been uh, acting up lately, though. They're attacking the fence more. It's never been good. 
The dog's attacking the fence. Just is asking for issues. We still have those little beepers out there, but um, apparently one of them's not really doing its job. So, I don't know. I think, if anything, we might have to either get an extra one or... Not sure. To be honest, we need to send the dogs to, like, a obedience school. Well, we only need to send one of them to obedience school, and that's uh, Whiskey. It's like... Freya tends to be good when it comes to taking orders and all that and listening. But, um, Whiskey has a problem of, uh, getting lost in the moment and not really, uh, listening to any of the commands. Either he's just too lost in what he's trying to do and he doesn't hear us, or he's being a little shit. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, none of it's good. It needs to get snapped out of it. I'm gonna have to. I am gonna have to reposition. Um. What uh? What do you call it? I'm going to have to reposition um, one of the uh, little anti-bark things, though. I need to push it all the way into the corner. Because that's where they're doing most of the damage. I have a feeling they already put a hole in the fence. So I was like, oh, great. No one knows about it except for probably me, because I'm the only one paying attention to it. Hmm, I have a feeling it's going to get a little toasty today. Even though it's the turn of the season, usually in Colorado, the beginning of autumn tends to get a little hot at times. It's like it's hot and it's cold and it's really hot and it's cold and it's extremely hot. Then it snows and then it just kind of stays kind of okay and then it's just chilly throughout the rest of the year. <laughs> It's weird. You can you can easily predict it though. Hey, what time is it in the game? It's almost that time. About eighteen more minutes in game. If I maybe maybe can catch another fish. Oh yeah, man. I'm reeling something in. I better not be drinking any coffee. It's only have like what a second or two. To kind of strike it. <sighs> and due to the fact it's in the middle of like day and night, I'm probably not going to catch anything right away. I'm waiting for nighttime to kind of roll in. I just kind of noticed that, uh, this is, uh, you know what I mean? This is actually going to be the first coffee with Vince I'm not actually going to archive. You know why I'm not going to archive this coffee with Vince? Because I just realized none of the music or anything like that and none of the audio from the computer itself is going to be in the VODs. <laughs> It was like, oh, I just noticed that. It's like, well, at least I don't have to worry about this. 
This is this this is a strictly stream, so I'm not too worried. Well, seems like the best I can really do with that cast is about a hundred and hundred feet. Wonder what that is over there. Is it like a certain type of tree? I wonder if I can go over there before uh start the mission. Hmm. It's not quite the time yet, so I'm gonna go over where that tree is and check it out. I'm gonna check a look. Gimme gimme gimme. Actually, you know what? I could probably still archive this. Even though, um... YouTube's not gonna get any music playing, because there is music playing right now. Um, even though they're not gonna get any music, it'll, it'll probably still be something that someone wouldn't mind relaxing to. Looks like we got ourselves some party crashers. Those Engelman spruce beetles are fixing to chow down, but I don't remember sending them out an invite. Find me more and I'll show them the door. Right. Oh yeah, there are legitimate like worms and stuff like that, grubs that can kill trees. And if you ever like find them, and especially for like near national parks and all that, it's good to report those, like report those like grubs. Because like yeah, it's it's kind of crazy that a single worm can kill a whole entire tree. All because it burrows into roots and shit. Some ridiculous shit. Okay, it's 600 at 1600. Or does it need to be 1900? Well, that technically 1600 is only 4 o'clock. Oh yeah, you can actually rent a boat. What type of boats can we rent? Lionheart 500. I'm guessing 500 horsepower. Uh, mobile light, lightning fast sport fishing boat. Crafted for pristine. From pristine fiberglass. High durability, unyielding performance. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, I, I don't know. I thought I saw 1600 hours, but um, it actually might be uh I don't know might actually be 1900 hours which would be around 7 o'clock well not right around 7 o'clock exactly 7 o'clock If I can go even slower, really attract that fish. Yeah, boy. I guess while I'm waiting for time to pass too, 
I should probably uh, also let you guys know what we're going to be up to. And stuff like that when it comes to Harma. I'll bring up the list of uh, future games lists and all that so you can see it. Well, I can see it at least. So it's all under the current tab in the uh, future games list. Um, so we do have a lineup. It's not all like in order or anything like that. So most of it's going to probably get mixed around uh, as the month progresses and everything like that but there's going to be some games that aren't really necessarily frightening games or scary games but they fit in the uh the the realm of october and stuff like that so there are going to be some games that of course they're not going to be horror games but they do fit with the theme of halloween and just you know the macabre and stuff like that so bear that in mind i do fit those in the month of horror so we have the first game that we have on the list is vampire then we have the original dead rising and we haven't done the only dead rising we've actually done a full playthrough of is dead rising uh four yeah dead rising four and so we're gonna try and eventually go through all the rest of the other dead, dead rising games because uh it doesn't feel right just playing the latest Dead Rising and <laughs> not do the other. So, yeah, we should uh, should do the other Dead Risings. But yeah, Dead Rising. We also have Darkwood. And then we also have Fatal Frame, Maiden of the Black... Maiden of Black Water, which I think is the fourth one. So, once again, we're... <laughs> we're, we're starting a series where we're playing the fourth entry... And eventually we'll go backwards. It's, it's very weird, but I don't have access to the first two uh, Fatal Frames because they haven't really remastered those. And um, they have at least three and four remastered. And I think the third one is Mask of the Lunar Eclipse or something like that. And that one just came out this year. But I don't have access to that. Then we have Siren. It's the original Siren. So we have Siren. We don't have Siren Blood Curse. So we're going to tackle that game as long as we can. M nope, though, some of these games are probably not going to be full playthroughs because some of them are either going to really either piss me off, two, haven't aged well, or three, not my cup of tea. And Siren might be one of those. Um... Next on the list after that is Amnesia The Bunker. So that's the newest Amnesia game. We'll be playing that. Uh, that would probably be a one-sitter next to, of course, uh, Scorn. Scorn's also going to be a one-sitter, which, however, it might not actually be a full playthrough either. <laughs> so on top of Siren and Scorn, both of those games probably aren't going to be um, one-sitters. Oh yeah, we do actually have Siren Blood. We actually have access to Siren Blood Curse. However, though, we cannot install it. We have to stream it through the PlayStation in order to get access to that. So there's that too. Um, fun, fun. Uh, we also have Bloober, uh, Bloombers, um, the Medium. So we we'll be playing that. We'll actually be playing two of the games they developed. And on top of the medium, we'll also be playing Observer the, uh, you know, this month as well. And we are going to play the memeable game Slender the Arrival. Because <laughs> you know what? Because we can. Uh, the one game I'm, another game I'm actually pretty excited about that I actually played, though, is uh, the newest Layers of Fear, where they combine one and two, the story of one and two, and make it into a more co cohesive story. And, um, yeah, our hidden gem of this year that not a lot of people talk about, unless you kind of follow Game Grumps, is uh, Homebody. We'll be playing that. And that game ranges either... Between the hours, apparently either like two to seven hours. I don't know. I, I just put seven hours on the list because I don't really know how long it's really going to take me. So there's that. And potentially, 
potentially we'll have Resident Evil 4 remastered um, to get to play this, you know, uh, um, Harm Month because uh, there may or may not be acquired by Hyper given to us. So that way we can play it this uh, Harm Month. And if we can't play it this Harm Month, uh, we'll play it either one next Harm Month or two uh, just later on next year. Probably early next year. I, I don't mind kicking off the New Year's with a Resident Evil game, <laughs> to be honest. I actually don't mind that. So there's that too. Um, I'm trying to figure out. Let's go to my journal real quickly. It doesn't say exactly. I mean, it's getting it's getting darker. It is getting darker. Oh yeah. By the way, you can fall into water. Here's a fish, not bee fish. <laughs> you can fall into water. <laughs> Too bad you can't really swim in this game, but it's it's all right. You're here to fish, not be fish. Man, that's that's the lineup for Har Month. Oh yeah, and it's probably n not even a secret. People probably have heard me talk about this, but Alan Wake Two is going to probably be the flagship game of next month or Har Month. So Alan Wake Two is high on the priority. So we're gonna try and hit that up. Um, hopefully, hopefully we'll have enough time to play Alan Wake 2 and finish Alan Wake 2 before Harmouth ends. The thing is, though, Alan Wake 2 comes out on the, I think, 25th. So that gives me about six days to beat it, which might be enough. I mean, if it's like a 20-hour game or something like that, then there's a possibility. I gotta look up on the interwebs. If there is an estimate on how long uh, Alan Wake 2 is. <laughs> I don't actually know. Um, I'm going to have to wait until I reel this in, though. I am wondering if there's if uh, the developers have kind of talked about how long Alan Wake 2 actually is. Because it could be as it could be as long as the original game, which actually was pretty lengthy. That was like a two, two and a half sitter, and if you squeezed in like six plus hours a day, uh, or it could be as long as Control. And Control is actually a lot lengthier compared to Alan Wake. So, Alan Wake to how long? I'm just gonna say how long to beat. Alright, around 20 hours, Alan Wake 2 developers have recently confirmed that the upcoming title will last for around 20 hours. So, being about twice the size of its predecessor, if you, if you don't include, like, you know, DLC and stuff like that. And if you don't include being on the hard stuff quality all kinds of other stuff uh playing alan wake on the hardest difficulty is a time crunch um but yeah uh the game should be released in october will be a lot like the original alan wake but will also bring many changes to the table such as having two protagonists yeah they've kind of showed that off so that's not a spoiler or anything. Because we have, you'll be most likely you'll play as, of course, Alan Wake. But then you'll be playing as the new detective. Forgot her, forgot her name already, but um, yeah, you'll be playing as her. First, I saw Sam Lake in the game. I was like, are you going to play as Sam Lake? <laughs> are you going to play as the creative director of the game? And it's like, no, he plays as the fictional character that Alan Wake made. It's like, ah, uh, I see. He's playing a fictional character within a fictional story. 
double fiction. Fiction inception. <laughs> so if double negatives turn out to be a positive. <laughs> Does that mean that Sam Lee's character is actually a real character? <laughs> it would be interesting. I'll check my equipment real quickly to make sure nothing got changed. I don't think anything got changed. And due to the fact like the max line strength is 4.4... Pounds. I'm actually very. I'm, I'm surprised I was able to catch that one pike because that was around a four, four and a half pound pike or something like that. It was something crazy. It was it was a pretty heavy ass pike. I'm very surprised I caught it. Yeah, let's do some twitching. See what happens. That'd be funny if I actually catch a fish because I'm twitching now. Wonder if I need to go slower though. Or maybe a little faster. I don't know. See some fish over there though. Caster. Whee! Oh, I only want 60 feet. Did it a little too early, that's why. Let's do some twitching. The thing is, I already know that the constant pull works, at least for the pike and the uh, the bass in the water. So I might as well just keep that going. Thing is, though, there's probably not too many big fish in this little area, since I'm using uh, well, uh, technically only using a seven seven hook. Ooh, shit. It must be another four pound fish because that motherfucker is like straining my shit. Trying to push my shit in. Oh, don't step it. Don't step it. Ah, this is my first silver largemouth bass. It's a four and a half pound. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to get some stronger. I don't know. I'm going to have to get some stronger line real fucking soon. Because <laughs> uh, these fish are getting a little too big for my own good. Starting to get a little too big. You hear? Yeah, I like how I made a comment to myself. So like, yeah, the constant seems to work better than twitching. So, I should probably stick with it. And I instantly grabbed that thing. <laughs> it's like, oh, I got a four and a half pound uh, bass there. I saw like a really heartwarming video of a father and son. Son caught their first bass. It was actually their first fish, I think, I assume their first fish ever they caught. And it was a pretty sizable motherfucking bass. I was like, dude, if that was my first fish, I would have been fucking, I would have been awesome. <laughs> I forgot what type of fish I caught. I think my, my first fish was a crappy. So I never got to cut like a bass or a 
pike or something like that for my first fish. Uh, I think mine was a crappy. Which is actually not a bad fish to catch. But um, there was that. You can catch at least the lakes that we always fished in Georgia. Um, you know, bass, catfish, and stuff like that. I think specifically they were smallmouth bass. Because those, those lakes were... At least, no, technically ponds. Ponds that we fished at were not super big. So we got more small mouths than large mouth. There's, you would probably have like one or two maybe small mouths, like kind of swimming in those ponds. But, uh, yeah, for the most part, you're catching catfish and other delicacies. <laughs> Even though it's surprising, you know, you, you go to a place like uh, Cracker Barrel and all that, and they're selling bottom feeder fish for an exorbitant amount of price now. Like, catfish used to be cheap. Catfish should still be cheap. Catfish is usually not the choice fish for people, except for me. I love catfish. I love eating catfish. But, for some reason, people caught on to catfish being some of the best fish to, to eat, to cook. <laughs> and now, catfish is fucking expensive. So I was like, well, now I probably should start fishing more. The thing is, I live in Colorado, and I don't know if there's a lot of catfish in Colorado. I gotta find lakes that have catfish. <laughs> the thing is, I would have to set. My, I would have to figure out the line because I, I I mainly catch catfish by bob bob fishing. I'm not one of those people that jig, twitch, or do the do do the real in fishing. I'm not one of those people. I tend to do a lot of my fishing just sitting on my ass and staring out into the sky. <laughs> <laughs> or just looking at the water like this, look at the, uh, you know, how the wind is pushing the water, making waves, small little wakes. I kind of get lost in looking into the water. Kind of like how when I go camping, half of my time is just looking in, looking into the fire. <laughs> it is like that's pretty much my that's my camping experience for the most part. If there's a fire going on, I'm pretty much sitting right next to it and just chilling out. <laughs> Getting like inadvertently cooked too. Cause here's the thing too: if you're sitting next to a fire and everything like that, you're you are cooking yourself with the uh, or is it like second radiation or you know secondhand radiation? Because fire gives off radiation, so it's like. People always wonder, is like, oh, it's like, oh, I got a sunburn for because I was outside. It's like, no, you're getting a sunburn because you're next to the fireplace <laughs> or the the fire pit. <laughs> hey, Beaver, what up? What's up? How's you doing? I'm reminiscing about camping and how hopefully next year I get to go camping again. I miss camping. I didn't go to. I didn't get to go camping this year because Laura and I had a kid. <laughs> I don't think bringing a newborn to camping is the uh, the best choice of action. <laughs> oh shit! There we go. Finally. Let's see. This doesn't seem as big of a fish as I caught last time, so it shouldn't be too bad. There he is. Trying to find how to watch Sea Meta Connect. What's that? Sea Meta. Ooh. Hopefully, I'm <laughs> trying try not to fall into the water. Because, yes, you can fall into the water in this game. Oh, typo.
RSVP'd, but don't tell you. I don't know. Oh, so it's a. I guess it's an event that you've already like. Kind of acquired in you know in the in the past and all that, but it's one of those things that they're not telling you how to actually get into it. You think they would have sent like an email or something like that, telling you like step by step? Because I think uh, Lauren and I actually checked out something that wasn't being streamed on either Twitch or YouTube or something like that. It was on a third party site. And um, they, the event that we were watching, they sent us an, uh, an email telling us how to watch the event. And thank God for that, because we had no fucking clue how to do it. <laughs> I was like, how do you get in? <laughs> oh, it's Meta Connect. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, bitch. <laughs> I need to learn my lesson. Don't drink the coffee while you're trying to reel something in, you idiot. I might as well just pull it. Hold it. Alright, now I'll drink the coffee while nothing's in the water. I'm currently waiting for it to be nighttime in the game so I can actually start this mission. It's taking a while. Tune in 27th. Like, okay. Tune. <laughs> is it a public event or is it one of those events that you actually have to uh, be invited to? Because if it's a public event, they'll probably just, I don't know, send everyone a link. It's a little weird that they don't give you any other information. <laughs> yeah, it's the 27th. That's right. 27th in the morning. You think you would get a, I don't know, message or email. I don't know. Uh, companies are companies. Sometimes they to forget to do something it's like oh shit i need to do this today i need to send this I need a mass email ten thousand people ready for horror month though cannot wait kind of wanted to start it now <laughs> but i'm not gonna push it i'm not gonna push horror month i'm just waiting it's meta's announcements and plans oh so like the future of what meta's gonna be doing is it just with like their vr headset or kind of like a little bit of everything like their websites things like that you know Facebook, Instagram, threads. I'm guessing they're talking about everything as a whole, as a company. I haven't used Facebook in like probably since I was in high school. I deleted my account a long time as a long time ago. Stopped using Instagram because it became useless, and never used Threads because I don't have an Instagram account. 
And I never checked out, uh, well, I did have an Oculus, but stopped, uh, I, you know, haven't invested in anything Oculus in forever. I link you to the Facebook, but it's pretty bare. Twelve carat. Oh, tooth. <laughs> But it's post Maloney's. <laughs> Man, everyone gave him post Malone to love, but what about the Danny D, though? I mean, Danny B. <laughs> Not Danny D. <laughs> Danny B. Danny Brown. Alright, I need to like look out for oh hey there it is. There's my sign. Thing is it's probably so far away I'm not really gonna probably attract him. So I have to have that spinner go past him and hopefully catch his eye. He's not gonna go for something that's already far away from him. Moving away. I mean, it could attract him, but it's also moving. Nah. If it's a pike or if it's like a smallmouth bass, I ain't gonna fall. For, I ain't gonna fall for that shit. Those fish are a tad bit too smart for that. It's gotta go past them first. It's like, ooh, what's that? <laughs> and then it might try and catch it. I think I'll shave on Sundays so that way beginning of horror month I'll be nice and clean and then I won't shave until like spring <laughs> yeah growing the winter beard out again that's gonna be fun oh shit there we go this comes out of nowhere I mean come on there we go Dragging him in one foot at a time, brother. He's like right there. Secure the line. <laughs> oh. There we go. Come on. There we go. He doesn't want me to secure it. Yeah, it's not the biggest. Which my line strength is only four point something pounds anyway so I don't know I have a feeling if that bass was any larger it would have snapped my line I made sure <laughs> had my mic muted it's like is my mic muted because if it's not muted man oh boy Okay, I don't think there's a shop over here. I don't think there is. Ah, we can't fast travel here, though. Hmm. I'm just going to mark that on the map and see where it brings me. So I'm wondering if you need to interact with these. It's a ghost town. Silver mine and ghost town. Walk in mine, gifts and crafts. It looks like they don't do that anymore. It's like the ghost town turned into a ghost cat in town again. Alright, stop tracking. Uh what I think I'm doing. I might I was kinda thinking of doing it, but now I'm kinda thinking about it. I probably shouldn't do it. 
I was gonna buy some like new line, buy a new pole, so just mainly better gear and all. But I probably maybe shouldn't do that. Not until I'm done with these like classes. God, what time is it in the game? It's seven. Yeah, no, no, it's five twenty in the game. I am still waiting, so I have a feeling they want me to wait until 1900 hours, which is around 7 o'clock. And there's no way to pass the time in the game. So that's the, that's one issue. One issue about this game. If you're trying to do night fishing, you legitimately have to wait until night fishing occurs. <laughs> we have to, have to wait until night time. And it's, uh, it can be a problem. That or join a server that has already nighttime. Ooh, this must be a four and a half pound fish. Cause he is giving me a run for my ass. See you in 12 hours. Like, legitimately? <laughs> Whoa, shit. Oh, for another time. Uh, thank God I don't actually have to wait in real life hours. Because if I actually w had to wait like another, well, it was about two hours. Oh my God, he's going to snap that. Oh, he must be a big fish. He must be, he must be bigger than my, my line power. I got to be very careful pulling him in. Or else he's just gonna rip my whole pole off. <laughs> I can't. I can't be too aggressive. Oh, don't break it! Don't break it! Thank God. That was a pike. That was only a four pound pike. Must just be a very strong pike. It's not even the biggest pike I had. It was just a very strong pike. <laughs> That's why I can't wait to get some better equipment. Get a stronger line and possibly a stronger pole to handle it because this I think this pole here probably isn't too great so if I had, uh, if I started catching seven to ten pound fish I, th I can see this pole breaking I wonder if your pole can break in the game maybe <laughs> I'm assuming it would depends on the type of fish There's a fish over there. They always tend to jump out, giving you the fish middle finger, saying, ha, hey, you cast it in the wrong place, asshole. Now I'm going to be somewhere else by the time you cast over there. So I never catch, in real life, I never catch the fish casting where I, I see fish splashing. Splashing. Always, always cast in a very calm areas, and that's when I tend to catch my fish. It's very totally the opposite of what you can think about. It's like, okay, if fish are splashing over there, I'm gonna cast over there, the opposite side. It's weird how that works, but that's that's always been my luck. Because anytime I cast towards where fish are jumping out of the water and shit like that, it, I never catch fish. In, at least in real life. In games, that tends to work. <laughs> but in real life, it's just, just go with your gut. Which, 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 which of the part of the pond or lake or river that looks the best to you? And just keep casting there and keep casting in other places. 
walk about a half a mile upstream, see if you can catch something over there. <laughs> Ah, uh, that's going to be something I, I can look forward to in the future. Fishing with my daughter. Hopefully she likes fishing. If anything, I don't know. I don't know. We, we'll have to definitely catch a fish the first time. So that way she gets that, like, hit of, hit of dopamine. That way we can get her hooked. <laughs> get her hooked on fishing. Because if she doesn't catch a fish, she won't really know what the point of fishing is until she actually catches her first fish. And then we're going to have to teach her which fish you can keep, which fish you need to let go. Stuff like that. We're also going to teach her how to gut a fish, how to clean a fish, how to descale fish, etc, etc. So, yes, I am going to be one of those dads that are going to teach her how to do all that stuff. I'm going to actually have to reteach myself how to do all that per type of fish, too. Because it's, it's been like... It's been like 15 years since I've gutted a fish. So it's, uh, it's I'm going to be rusty. <laughs> and I want to be rusty showing, like, Claire how to clean a fish after catching it. I was going to make the mistake. So you have this in my hand and everything. I was like, I might actually catch a bass or something like that if I do this. <laughs> yeah, but for those who either just joined in or watching the stream later or something like that, um... I have finished Starfield and Sonic Frontiers, so those playthroughs are done. Not going to do any new playthroughs until horror month begins. So I'm just pretty much chilling for today, and if I stream tomorrow, I'll just do another coffee stream. And Friday, however, Friday, however, is going to be different. We'll do, we'll probably start out the stream with a coffee stream. And then we'll check out that new update for Sonic Frontiers afterwards. So there is this the big old update that everyone's been talking about for Sonic Frontiers. And apparently the big thing is the big fix with the whole, I guess, final boss fight and stuff like that. So I'll, I'll be checking that out to see if they actually did anything. <laughs> but apparently you don't just play a Sonic that you're going to be playing as the other characters, which is going to be interesting. So I was like, all right, we'll see how that is. The only thing I can picture in my head is like Sonic Frontiers mercenary mode. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Facebook takes you to their website and their website takes me to Facebook. <laughs> oh, so you're getting, like, circle jerked? <laughs> oh, no. In a very bad way. <laughs> one has sandpaper, the other one has fucking fiberglass. <laughs> oh, for a second there, I thought it smelled like candle lit. And I was like... <laughs> and it's like, no. I'm like looking at Freya, it's like, can't be you. <laughs> it smelled too floral. So I was like, I was wondering, it's like, well, I'm not smart. I'm not smelling burnt toast. So I'm not having a stroke. It was just weird. I just had to, like a random whiff of like flowers. I don't have this window open. This window's not open, so I don't... I'm not having a breeze around me. What the hell did I just smell? <laughs> that was really weird. So that... It was only that one little, like, breathe-in moment. I was like... Okay.
Man, I've been just fishing this one spot, just mainly just passing the time. I'm not really trying to actually catch anything. I'm waiting for night time to eventually happen in the game, which apparently I assume happens around 1900 hours. We're getting there. Uh, oh yeah, this is the time. It's there. It's 17, 1740. So, it might happen. It might just happen. Who knows? Maybe I should do some bob fishing. That way I don't have to just keep holding on to this, like, left trigger. Because, uh, I've been trying to interchange between my index and middle finger because after holding down a uh, trigger button for a while it starts to get a little uncomfortable <laughs> it's like okay there these newer controllers man they have a lot more uh, resistance to it especially if you've played the, with the ps5 controllers and the uh the active feedback is on it can get a little <laughs> It can get a little fatiguing on your fingers. It was like, okay, man, I actually had to squeeze down on that fucking trigger to shoot something. <laughs> and after doing it for like a couple hundred times, it fucking starts to get tiring on your fingers. It's like, damn, I'm getting a finger workout doing this shit. Yeah, these new controllers are no fucking joke. <laughs> you can turn it off, though, just in case you have, I don't know, you're starting to have the arthritis. Um, you can turn it off and it'll help. Active feedback. So far, though, the Xbox doesn't have that. It's only been the PlayStation 5 that has, like, haptic feedback when it comes to that stuff. Oh, 10 a.m. Oh, Pacific Standard Time. So that would be what? That, that's about nine o'clock my time. No, wait, 11 o'clock my time. No, it's 11 o'clock my time. I keep forgetting they're an hour behind me. Which that means in about another hour and 20, less than an hour and 20 minutes. So you got some time, you got some waiting to do. If that's the case. Yeah, an hour and 20 minutes lessen it I know it's like why are you making my buddy beaver wait it's not cool I gotta figure out what I'm doing after the uh, coffee stream today. My only plans are to, of course, get all the archiving caught up with, so that way I have nothing to do by the time um, Friday rolls in. I catch up on podcasts. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, get the horror month stuff ready for next week. So I'll probably do that. Hmm, not much for me to do today, though, other than that. I am thinking of other things I need to do. Is there anything else I need to do for the stream? Probably not. If not that, I need to work on the art piece that I'm trying to finish. That's probably going to keep... That's probably going to be the rest of my day. After I'm done archiving and getting hard month ready. Is that, uh... I need to, uh get the art piece going because I'm going to try and finish this art piece that I started about two weeks ago uh, finished before horror month it's not horror month related of any sorts but it is a it's a art piece I want to finish so that way I can work on a horror month art piece or a couple horror month art pieces before horror month begins 
Or just at least get him started so I can finish him in a timely manner. <sighs> uh, I'm not doing my art live. I like to do my art in seclusion, dark environment, <laughs> everything like that. <laughs> I'm a very, like, secluded artist. If I'm gonna do my art, I don't want anyone around me. I, I pretty much tell everyone to fuck off. <laughs> yeah, I would probably do my art live and everything like that, but I don't know. Just don't feel the urge. I don't think it, people would be too uh, enthused about watching Pointillism live. Because watching point Pointillism live would probably be boring as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it, it would literally take an hour. It would probably take like three or four hours just to see the difference between when I started and where I will be in another like two days or so. <laughs> yeah, I like being I like being secluded, and I I don't really need it being quiet, but. I like because I can listen to a podcast or listen to music while I'm like doing art, but for the most part, I don't want anyone fucking around me while I'm like doing my art process. Like I like to keep that shit a secret. <laughs> it's like it's the art, it's the art trade, man. I got to keep my shit a secret. It's not like it's. I mean, you can probably look at my art, art. Either the pointillism pieces or my more casual pieces. And you can probably see how, what my art process pretty much looks like. <laughs> it's not very complicated art. The only thing that might be slightly complicated is the pointillism stuff. But if you know how pointillism works, you pretty much know the process. <laughs> and the process is painful. If I'm doing pointillism, I don't want anyone getting into the room because you, you you just you, you fucked up my uh, my rhythm. So usually when Lara <laughs> comes into the room or something like that, I'm like, "What you need? <laughs> Do you need any help? Because <laughs> if not, okay, <laughs> can't say what I want to say." <laughs> I'm a very uh, finicky kind of artist, too. It's funny, too. I've done, like, maybe four or five weddings now. And I hate doing photography of people. <laughs> so I've, I've started to do things outside my comfort zone. Which, I, man, that's the only way you're going to get better at anything. So if you're going out of your comfort zone... And everything that you're trying to do challenges you in some form or fashion. And that's that, that's why I at least do with my pointillism pieces. I'm doing pointillism pieces that constantly challenge me. Which there is no such thing as an easy pointillism piece. That shit will drag you into the underworld as fast as it can. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> The other factor is, I don't think there's a pointillism piece I can do that will take less than a day. It's just not possible. I can't do it. Since I'm doing a coffee stream, um, I could probably show you guys some of my, uh, some of my progress with the current point pointillism piece. So I'll probably uh, take a quick little minute break to grab the tablet and show you guys that. Pretty sure I did my first pointillism piece when I was in elementary school before even knowing it was an art style. Felt pretty unique and realized people have been doing it before I was born. It's still a very rare art style though. You don't hear anyone talk about pointillism. You don't hear anyone show, you know, share pointillism or anything like that. It's an extremely rare art style. 
And the reason why I specialize in pointillism is because my dad used to do it. He he would do that, and he also did paper, paper crafting. Hello, so, oh. Just getting in at Ruby River Range if you need me. Got you down here. Shut the fuck up, warden. <laughs> But yeah, let me uh let me grab that art piece and show you guys the uh show you guys the progress so far. <sighs> no, nah, it's a game warden. So, like, you know, warden of the uh, park and all that. No, I'm not a prisoner in the game. Just gotta make sure I'm. Do, 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 do. All right, so current. Oh, oh no, you might not be able to. Oh, here we go. Jeez. My current progress so far. And uh, here's the uh, last. When I finished up, it's you can only find this art piece on display. Yeah, this the monster one that I have, the tormentum art piece that I have is you can only find it on display. You're not gonna find it on any other site. You gotta buy that shit. <laughs> it's that one. I will I will tell you exactly how many dots are on Tormentum, the the uh, creature that's uh, a part of the landscape. Mm. Let's see if I can get the details. I think I need to. I forgot what. I, think I need to go to Canvas, Canvas info. And where is it? Hmm. There's the rainfo. It's uh three hundred fifty seven thousand two hundred and forty dots. <laughs> Which what program I'm using? I'm using uh, Procreate. Uh so it's mainly you can find it in um what you call it yeah uh ios and stuff i don't know if you can get procreate on your computer but yeah i'm using procreate so that's the stuff i'm using and uh of course i got melania once it focus focus there you go So, Melania from uh, Elden Ring. And then, of course, I have Jeebus. What would Jesus do? This one came out really good, though. Uh, once it focused, focused. There you go. <laughs> That's the one I did. That one took so fucking long. I the the reason why I did Jesus is because I did it for my uh, grandma. My grandma is a Christian, and so that's why I, I have a Jesus pointillism <laughs> done. <laughs> did one for Rivet and Clank, and I actually like this one because this one took me the least amount of time. 
but I still like the the amount of detail. So I did that one too. Yeah, I got a lot of them. But yeah, the current one I'm working on is going to be more like the Millennium one. It's going to have a color mixed in with monochromatics. So, got that stuff too. Got a Samsung Note that never used for sketching. Yeah, as I was say, if you want to get back into art, Never go wrong with digital art. It's always, I that's why that's what's pretty much got me back into art was digital art because I don't have to worry about resources. <laughs> I don't have to worry about buying new pens or pencils or pastels and paper and canvases. I don't have to worry about any of that shit. And it's nice, although I do miss the feeling of being able to, you know, kind of draw something. And then using using my thumb to do the shading part, I I do miss that feeling of being able to like m like pretty much mold everything into each other and do the shading and do texturing with my fingers. I I used to do that. I used to do pastel and watercolors and shit like that. Uh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> So that's why I need to do a lifetime's worth of art to pay for it. <laughs> I mean, eh, eh, it depends. Depends on if you do painting, if you just draw. Depends on the art style. <laughs> depends on your art style. With my case, however, since I'm just mainly doing pointillism, um, it's going to take me a lot. It would be a lifetime's worth of art and resources. Because it takes forever <laughs> to finish the fucking art piece. <laughs> yeah, I'm. It's it's not a thing I would want to get get back to. I mean, eventually I'm gonna probably pick up uh, physical artwork again, though. So I think as I get older, I I I want to work with more physical materials over time. <laughs> Need a tattoo gun? That's the thing, though. My father did it with a ballpoint pen. He didn't have a tattoo gun when he was doing pointillism. He did it old school. Old fucking school. I mean, that's probably the way I would do it. I would do it with a ballpoint pen as well. Is either a ballpoint pen or is it it's something close to it? But he was able to control the flow of ink, so it's it's one of those ballpoint pens you can control the actual flow of ink. So he would probably set it depending on the the what he's trying to fill in. He would either either let the ink go a little bit flow looser, and then he would tighten it up for more finer details. So I, I like the way my dad did it is the way like I I would probably do it, but it's like I could save time and energy just by doing it digitally. <laughs> oh, I'm doing three times speed. My bad, doing it a little too fast. Okay, is it about time in the game for it to be night time? Because I'm ready to catch fish. So I don't know if I'm gonna. Tr I think they want me to maybe either catch walleye or something. This is, doesn't seem like the area to catch walleye though. It could be. I don't know. Oh shit! Caught something. It's definitely not gonna be the fish that we're thinking about because it's not night time yet apparently. Yeah, largemouth bass. It's a very, it's a small puny one. It's alright. It's okay, I guess. 
Alright, it's time in the game. 1819. Ah, oh, shit. So I guess I, apparently when I... I don't know if I put it on this screen or something like that. Or maybe if you put it on this screen. This feels like time didn't pass. <laughs> I don't know if I just, like, debated myself when it came to waiting for, uh... Waiting for the time to pass. Felt like time stood still while I was showing in those art pieces. But yeah, a good, a good place to check, at least some of them, is uh, DeviantArt or Pixiv. Pixiv, you mainly just see the digital art, and DeviantArt will link you towards my photography, in-game photography, since I did a little bit of that. I need to get back into that. I need to get back into in-game photography. But yeah, I did that. My digital art and my uh, pointillism. I think, I'm trying to remember what else I do on there. <laughs> but yeah, I think mostly DeviantArt has everything except for the one art piece that is Tormentum. That's only on display. <laughs> Which I have a link towards my display too. Which I only have two art pieces up on my disc plate. I do plan on changing that. Hopefully by the end of the weekend. So if I get this art next, this freaking next art piece done, it's gonna it's gonna be good. Hopefully, because I'm actually doing this art piece in the proper size and format, straight up just for disc plate. So. So hopefully I can get most of my actual pointillism pieces done in the format of display. Because I do like that. I like having the metal metal posters and all that. Here's the thing though. If you have popcorn walls, you can't you can't have display hanging on your walls. It just doesn't work. We tried. <laughs> There's only like a few walls in our actual like house that can have display posters and I'm looking at one of them right now and it's like yeah this is, this is a wall I can have <laughs> I guess if I ever want to show off like a display artwork that I've done all I'd do is just grab it and put it behind me where, where the Pikachu is <laughs> and just put it there <laughs> just show off art anytime I would have to like I'm gonna see if I can get like a small little miniature light that points at it. It's like this is my artwork. <laughs> I do need to get myself a copy of my own momentum piece, so that way I can like, I don't know, anyone ever comes to our house like, this is what I do. <laughs> I do, I think I have, oh, my phone's over there. I was about to say, I think I have like a, an artwork in mind for the next pointillism piece. It's kind of, I got, I'm thinking about it though. <laughs> it is going to be Halloween related though. I just gotta figure out if it's going to be either really heavily detailed, and if it is gonna be really heavily detailed, that could add an extra few days of work. Or I can make it as somewhat simplistic as this current pointillism piece. And I'll shave off a few days. And when I mean shave off a few days, I mean like at least six hours a day of working on those art, art those, those artworks because i think tormentum took well over 130 hours to finish yeah that like that's that's calculated that's not like exact time but that's like yeah it, it took me about like a month and a half to really finish of like actual work and if I ever charged anyone 
for like, I don't know, like a commission for a pointillism, uh, it's best just to buy any of my pointillisms off of Displate <laughs> or, or from the uh, channel store. Because if you ever try and commission like a personal pointillism piece, you're going to need a couple thousand dollars. That's all I'm saying. Because <laughs> I factored in the amount of man, the, the I'm, I'm just going off of like manual labor and um, the amount of time it takes to finish the art piece. Like you're going to have to at least fork over a thousand dollars, depending on the uh, art piece. <laughs> Uh, this is because the amount of fucking time I spent on those pointillism pieces, this is still getting them even on the display format. Yeah, because if it takes me about a month to finish a uh, pointillism piece, and if someone commissioned that, um, yeah, I'll, I'll need at least a thousand hours. I mean, a thousand dollars. Come on, man. It's going to take me like, it's going to take me about a month to finish this. Is my, okay, I was about to say, is my line stuck on something? A lot of people will not get that too. It's like, why does your artwork cost more than some people's artwork? Because it's the process in which it takes me to finish my artwork. That's why it costs a lot more in other people's artwork. And it also beats me up more than the other artists. <laughs> like the other like other the other artists like, you know, like uh, Sakami Chan or uh I'm, I'm trying to name off certain like artists that people might know on the internet. Um, Sakami Chan is a very good one to name off. They're insanely highly detailed and all that, but they can finish their artworks, which I assume only takes them like two days. And since it only takes them two days, and they're very proficient at what they do, um, it probably, uh, you know, they probably don't really, no, the only reason why they would probably charge 60 plus dollars per artwork it's because they can. Because <laughs> they're... One, it's really good artwork. And two... Um, you know, didn't take them too much time, so... I, I, if anything, they could probably make more money than I can in a lifetime. <laughs> but... Oh, I don't do art for uh, to make money, though. If anyone ever buys any of... My my artwork. That's just that's a cherry on the cake. Hey, look at that. Same thing with uh, same thing with streaming. I don't do this for money. Oh, I got two. Scuzz that fuck, Emma. What time is it? Twenty more minutes, I guess. You know, the way time is passing in the game is like almost eerily similar to like <laughs> nah, I, I haven't been actually waiting like three plus hours in real life almost have mm. every fucking time it's like they it's like they know I'm like trying to drink a cup of coffee assholes <laughs> it's like hey I'm trying to drink coffee <laughs> Chance. Like they know. <laughs> like oh, it's walleye. Hey, look at that. Hey, that's a nighttime fish right there. Okay, I'm catching walleye now. So, uh... <laughs> if I'm catching walleye, it's nighttime, bitches. It is fucking nighttime. Ha 
Because I was like, yeah, I just caught a walleye. It's like it's it's night enough. I mean, usually when the walleye starts biting, that's it's 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 nighttime, man. <laughs> Those are nocturnal fish. <laughs> so I'm trying to think though I think I caught that walleye by accident because I think walleye react to twitching at least in real life I never really tried to fish for walleye, but I've always looked at people kind of fishing for walleye and they always seem to be doing that twitching method. That's another walleye. <laughs> it's like, hey, shit, I'm catching a walleye even before the lesson starts, amigo. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Old minus. Which I guess the spinner is working really well for these, uh, walleye. It is reflecting whatever little light there still is. So, the spinner is actually, at least around this time, is really good. I don't know if they actually, I don't know how well they simulate the fish in this game. Probably not that well. Who knows? Uh, oh, oh! Just right at my toes. That was a small little walleye. Look at that! <laughs> it took four seconds to catch him. <laughs> okay. Seriously though, it is uh, three more minutes, I guess. I'm if if for some reason three minutes pass and the Class doesn't begin. I might have to fast travel and see if that fixes it. <laughs> I just want to catch fish <laughs> and get rewarded for it too. Not just catch fish. <laughs> oh, here we go. There are four different spin Fishing techniques available. So yeah, I've been doing constant, which is normal. And then I can do twitching and jigging. Okay. So what do they want me to do? Oh, okay. One second. Jerk bait. Hook size five. Let's see, I want to do this one. No, oh, wait, I need to do go to my rod setup. And I want to do spin, jerk bait. Spin bait. Crankbait, twisting, constant, twitching. But I'm gonna read that again. Jerk bait with okay. So I could probably instead of that. Oh, that, does that mean I need to buy it? I'm trying to figure out how the uh there's a jig head. I don't I don't think I'm using jigs. That's a lure bait. I don't think I have any jerk bait with because those are hook hook sizes of ten, eight, seven. I might have to buy it. And I don't think I have any other lines that are better. No. Stop it! I didn't mean to go all the way out. Might have to buy it. 
Of course they don't tell me how to do the shit. Is there a shop nearby? Am I gonna have to fast travel? Might have to fast travel. Gosh dang it. There's a warden over there. Actually, what does he want me to do all the way over there? It's a little, a little odd. But yeah, I'm gonna have to go over there. Hopefully time doesn't... I mean, if time passes while you fast travel, I just constantly fast travel and should speed up the time. <laughs> Alright. Do you have hey, jerk bait? A and a, also a hook size of... What was it? Five? I need to buy equipment. Um, Probably a better line, too. I mean, it depends. It depends. Spinnerbait. Um, spinners. Hopper. Froggos. Spoons. Swim bait. There's some jerk bait. Wait a minute. I need to be what? I need to be level 12 for this. Yo, <laughs> what the fuck, man? I can't get the jerk bait until I'm level 12. You gotta be fucking kidding me. I got the money, but I don't have to. I don't have the experience. <laughs> you gotta be fucking kidding me. Hey, you're busting my balls. <laughs> and I, I think that's the that, that's the bait I need. Is uh, yeah, jerk bait, hook five. I need to be leveled. They should have at least fucking warn me. <laughs> uh, that's that's a pain in the ass. All right, I am gonna be right back. Just need to go to the bathroom real quick. <laughs> Uh, all right. So, does anyone else have animals that tend to like to accompany you while you go to the bathroom? And Freya, Freya is weird to where, depending on which bathroom we use, is where she likes to accompany me. <laughs> if I use our personal toilet, she doesn't. A company and the thing is she'll like sit in front of me while I'm trying to go to the bathroom and she wants pets <laughs> that's all she wants so my personal time 
trying to, you know, do my daily thing. It... <laughs> it seems like... It seems like all she wants to do is just, like... You know... It's like, this is supposed to be... I'm supposed to be alone while doing this. Freya. <laughs> I don't know. She's not... I guess she just... She probably went outside. But yeah, she's a, she's a weird dog. Yeah, it's a weird ass dog. <laughs> I had the dog though. Better have her do that than I don't know, chew up shit. Is there any other hats except for like these hats? Is it just? You know, bent bill caps. I think it's just those. Yeah, it's working. <laughs> the music might be a little loud. That's probably why. It's probably hard to hard to hear. To be honest, probably turn down the music just by a little bit, just by just like a smidge, like that. Just by a smidge. Mm. What would I wear? I, would, eh, I wouldn't wear a camo one. I'd probably wear something like this. Monkey foot. Sure. You're missing fish and how could you? <laughs> how could you have missed... I had to configure all of the extensions. <laughs> you can do it with commands too. Um, I need to figure out how to link my sound commands. I might just have to make a list for you guys. So that way you know at least the commands for those sound commands. So instead of just redeeming it through the extension. A little different than Seattle, but boy is it beautiful. What she said. Uh, instead of <laughs> redeeming it through the uh, through the extension, you could just do it by commands. So I think hopefully this command works now. Ooh. Yep, it works. <laughs> it works. <laughs> yeah, you can do like you can still do those commands and shit. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> yep. Ah, <laughs> uh, shit. <laughs> yep, fart two works. So there is no fart one, by the way. So there's fart, fart two, and then there's a fart three. I don't know if I made a fart four yet. But, yeah, they got those. Uh, I need to get... I think more Get away from her, man. She's gonna like, pop my fucking ear off. <laughs> Women, am I right? <laughs> I mean, hey, <laughs> it worked. <laughs> That was pretty. <laughs> Actually, it was perfect timing. <laughs> it was like a response to what I said. <laughs> Actually, that's perfect timing. I'm trying to figure out where the fucking. What's the thing that has the car stuff? Oh, yeah, it is a really good way to get your attention. That little uh, sound command. Really good way. Man, this fucking flashlight sucks ass. Oh, can you go in there? Nope. It's gonna turn into a horror game real fucking quick. Yeah, I can't catch the sauger because uh, I, I apparently need to be level 12 in order to get that. 
So I think my challenge, well, no, it's not challenges. It's, yeah. Let's, what the dog doing? Yeah, what is the dog doing? What is the dog doing? So right, damn son, where'd you find those? Where the fuck is the plane? <laughs> I don't remember. Oh, I need to keep going forward. Okay. Okay. Must be here about the Shut the fuck up. Very welcome. Come back. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just trying to get a vehicle and it's so hard to find where it is. Hopefully the... Oh, why is it like lighter when you're in the vehicle? That's weird. Okay, well, I am going to explore, or, or I'm just going to fast travel and just say fuck it. <laughs> yep. Yeah, because, uh, what is it, update 2.0, and the, uh, DLC is out officially today. Yeah, because the DLC came out later last night, if I'm correct, like officially everywhere. So you got that. So you have all those goodies. <laughs> oh, they made it more play playable on Steam Deck too. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, of course, with Cyberpunk being under new management, there's a lot of things that have changed, and either for the, hopefully mostly for the best, but I have a feeling there are certain things that people probably didn't want changed. I've yet to hear anything about anything changing that people dislike, though. So, I guess whatever the head guy's doing, doing a good job. <laughs> Unmistakable color. That's a purple loose stripe if ever I saw one. These plants have me on my last nerve, Buckaroo. Tell me where I can find them. Yep, I was there for it. <laughs> I was there for the launch. I was playing on the Xbox 360. Oh no, Xbox One. I was playing on the Xbox One. That was even more rough. That was probably the roughest I could ever have it. I was playing uh, Cyberpunk on either. PS4 or an Xbox One was probably the worst thing you could do. <laughs> the human history of the park itself began at least 11,000 years ago. And still is, the actually. The ancestors of the contemporary Shoshone began to hunt and fish in the region. Obsidian, which you'll see dotted around the park, was a key part of their culture. That's how they made their arrowheads. And probably spearheads, too. Obsidian. I'm just kind of discovering more locations and stuff like that. You don't mind me. Actually, I'm going to go back to that one place to start fishing. Keep on fishing. Keep on keeping on. Got to fish so I can get my... So I can fish for more fish. Because that's how fishing do. Okay. Let's go to the dock. And let's just see if we can catch more walleye. Uh, let's double check my stuff. I got a spinner. Spinner. Right. Making sure I'm like right at the edge. All right. Let's go catch ourselves a fish. <laughs> Oh man, catch him out. Oh, yeah, I see a walleye right underneath me. Damn, son.
Hey, if anyone has this game, specifically Game Pass, you can join me. <laughs> I'm trying to remember if this game has cross-platform play. I'm not sure. So if you play this on the PC, I don't know if you can play with me. This would be a nice little chill game to just like, kind of like Fishing Planet. Ch Fishing Planet was pretty chill, playing with other people and just talking, shooting the shit while fishing for virtual fish. <laughs> fishing for virtual fish. <laughs> See, the thing is, I feel like I need to start jigging, so... Mm. Let's do that a little bit more properly. Thing is, I'm using a spinner. So I'm going to have to... I wonder if I do have a jig bait that I could use. I mean, if I somehow catch a fish jigging while using a spinner, <laughs> then I know this game is realistic. <laughs> and so it'll work if we, if we can do it. Yeah, uh, I think we have to use the proper technique per thing. I am going to check that. Do we have a jig? A jig, a jig, a jig, a jig. I mean, because I, oh, I hit it. I hit it. It goes all the way back. Um, so we have a jig head spinner. I'm just seeing. Maiden. Yeah, we don't. Okay. So technically, we just have a lure spinner. Just technically, it, was, it, it could go either way. It doesn't really matter. Green maiden. No, maiden. Thank you. Use the fours. So we have a spinner. We do have a crankbait. Spinner, frog. Which frog might work. Oh, it's for twitching. Constant... Constant, constant twitching, stop and go, constant stop and go, and twitching. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it's probably best that I just stick with spinner hook seven. I don't think I can get any better until I level up a few more times. I gotta level up. Gotta get a show of my turn. I know that I need a, like, a, a jig bait, though. This pretty much told me that it's like, yeah, if you want to catch the maximum amount of fish, for at least this time and area, jigging is probably going to be your best bet. Sadly, I have nothing to jig with. I mean, I can, I can jig with the current spinner I have, but... It's probably not going to be, it's probably not going to go anywhere. Yeah, I guess I'll uh, 
I'll continue this mission once I'm like, was it level 12? I think I'm level 9 right now. I need to catch a bunch more fish before I can even consider doing this mission. It is the, what, the master class or the advanced class? I what they called it. Well, but I have a feeling my, since it's later into the night now, I have a feeling it's, uh, the spinner is not going to work anymore. I need that jig bait. Because the spinner technically only works if there's light to bounce off the spinner. Because it catches the fish's eye and everything like that. I mean, it, it kind of works. I can see it from here, but it could just be the game. <laughs> technically, in, if you ever try to use a spinner in real life, you want to use it while there's some kind of light being projected towards the spinner itself. Usually daylight is the thing you want to use it for. Daylight or some people will cheat and they would uh, they point a flashlight at the spinner itself as it comes. So that way the spinner is always constantly reflecting light. <laughs> it's like that's not the way to do it. <laughs> but hey, if it works, it works, I guess. Hey, welcome back. Yeah, I don't think my spinner is going to work at night. I might have to go back to the old bridge and um, do some bob fishing. Might have to catch some uh, other stuff. Catch the keychain light. Yeah, that's another thing you can do. Have it further up the line to where when you're dragging the, uh, the spinner. The light's constantly pointing pointing towards the uh, the spinner. That's another way you could do it. Too bad I can't do that in the game. <laughs> Have one of those very small little flashlights so you can tie like just above the uh, no, like a little bit further away, but just enough to where the light's hitting it. All right, I'm gonna put it over there. It seems there's enough, like, maybe moonlight. Kind of catch some light. I don't know. I'm kind of wondering where the light's coming from. I'm assuming it's a uh, somewhat full moon. Man, where all the walleye go? <laughs> I'm probably going to have to switch fishing uh, areas for now. Let's see. Oh, it is a full moon. Eh, that actually makes sense. Right, I'm going to cast one more time. And then I'm going to change fishing environments. Fishing style and fishing environments. I might still try and do uh, a constant reel. See if that's see if that's the case. It does make me want to get back into real life fishing though. I need to go to. I don't know what's the best fishing place I could go to to get some fishing gear. Dicks would probably be way too expensive. Like, they're overpriced. So... It's a good place to go. <laughs> I do need to tell Lara we need to get get some fishing gear. And, uh... Because we, uh, we'll need to get fishing gear that's specifically tied to Colorado fish. So depending on how Colorado fishing is, 
It's like, okay, depending on the species of fish, do we want to go bob fishing? Do we want to go fly fish? Well, I'm, I probably will never really do fly fishing. I don't know, I would have to try out fly fishing to see if I even like it. But, um, yeah, either I, or I would have to do what my character is doing right now is either constant reeling, jigging, or twitching, or stop and goes. I'm down at Emerald Lake for a while. Catch you later. Am I hearing a plane? What the hell's that sound? Um, how's that sound? Oh, is there something actually going on in the ghost town? Yeah, I know it's uh, Harmouth is coming along, but it's a little weird. <laughs> Armoth is getting close, but it's not, it's not, today is not the day to start, okay? <laughs> this is weird. I don't know if this is actually uh, supposed to be happening. What the hell? <laughs> imagine a, imagine a fishing game that has jump scares. What the hell's going on? Actually, I don't know if any of the horror stuff is turned on right now. I think I have them in the uh, store, but I don't have them turned on. So if there is any, like, horror stuff, because that's, that's something I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be turning all those, like, on eventually at some point. Yeah, something weird's going on in the game. It's like, okay, I'm just going to get out of here and uh, walk away. Um, specifically, can I go over here and just fast travel? Nope. Hmm. Nope. Yeah, I think all the horror, like, sound effects and all that, I think I have turned off. I gotta see if I even have them on there. So let's see. Not uh, to chain or store and get numb score. Let's go to stream elements. If we go to stream elements, because I gotta figure I I gotta remind myself, like, what do I actually all have? I think I have all my sound effects converted to stream elements. It's just been a bit. You have several sponsorship opportunities right now. You can make up to six hundred and sixty six dollars just waiting for you. Nah, don't care for it. <laughs> yeah, I know I can be a sponsored. I don't really care. <laughs> I don't really care, man. Um. Okay, where is loyalty? Maybe it's under loyalty. Would it be on the loyalty stream store? Yeah, fart, damson, denied. Excuse me, fart. Vitality, finish him. Turtles, honk. He listen. It's a trap. Alert. Triple. Item got. Oof. Three. I don't see any of the horror stuff. I must have not put the horror stuff on there yet. Okay, so none of the horror stuff is on uh, stream elements right now. I think that will probably be another thing I'll have to look at. It's good to know. Oh yeah, don't worry. I'll, I'll be bringing them back. <laughs> I still have the sound files for uh, some of those older uh, 
from some of the older har months. So they'll be back. I still have them in my computer. I just didn't transfer those into uh, stream elements yet because I don't know if there's a way for me to uh, mute them or not afterwards. I might have to take them. I might have to just install them and then take them off after uh, Har Month is done. All right, I need to find a... I'm thinking... Let's fish right here. Let's fish right there. There we go. And now, I think it was what? Last um, horror month? We didn't have like a 100% full month of horror games because last month. I think we were, we actually had a, depo a deficit of uh, horror games to play. <laughs> we didn't have enough horror games to play the whole entire month. So now, unlike last horror month, we actually have a, uh, a whole entire month's worth, including probably even more than we need. So I think, if anything, we'll try and do a mixture of good horror games and bad horror games. So that way... Even if we don't finish all the horror games, um, and we have leftover horror games, we can save that for next year. So I don't mind if I don't finish all the horror games that I have on the list. There's no way in hell we're going to finish them all anyway. <laughs> but I am going to start with some of the longer ones, like Dead Rising and all that. So I'll be doing that, starting with some of the... It's kind of hard to find a good fishing spot. Especially at night. If you don't know the area, it's kind of hard to... What's up with these buoys? Is that good fishing? Ooh, lilies are good. Anytime you see lilies, it might be a good spot to fish. Hopefully those buoys aren't tied to, like, nets. I'm assuming this is a good fishing spot, though. Well, we'll find out if my uh, line gets caught in something. <laughs> I really hope those buoys are like, you can't fish here. Well, I guess I'll find out. But yeah, fishing near lilies is always a prime opportunity. To get your shit. Get your shit. I might actually f have to cast my line right in the lilies. So I can maybe catch a... Uh, uh, like a smallmouth bass or something like that. I mean, if I can't catch anything with my current setup right now, too. Oh, let's uh, change my fishing setup, actually. Let's go over the greenhorn. And, uh... Let's do that. <laughs> oh, shit. What type of bait did I have on that? I don't know if I had a hot dog on it. I didn't even look. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it like this, too. So I can drink my coffee, and I can still... I can, oh, 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 yeah, I fucking knew you were gonna do that shit, you piece of shit. <laughs> Yeah, I grab my coffee mug right away, and they instantly strike at it. So like, you motherfuckers. <laughs> hey, if I ever wanted to catch a fish right away. Oh, look how small he is. A black crappy. Oh, it's the biggest black crappy I ever ever caught in the game. Speaking of crappies, that's actually the first fish I ever caught in my uh, whole entire life. My actual real life was a crappy. Crappies are... Solid fish. They're, actually, they're pretty damn solid. I would not uh, discount them for being a good first fish to catch. Yeah, you can either pronounce it crappy or crepies. This depends on where you're from. 
Americans, I think most Americans call them crappies, though. I, I always called them crappies. Crappies. Crepes. <laughs> they, are, they are, how you say, the delicates of the fish. Or, like, croppies. Croppies. Yeah, I guess that's another way you could pronounce it, too. wonder how Boston people pronounce it. Yeah, it's crappy. <laughs> I have no clue how the fuck they would pronounce it. How would Boston people How do people in Minnesota say it? That's that's why you would have to figure out. Ooh, there's a fish right there. That was a walleye. A walleye just jumped out of the water. I don't know. I'm not sure, to be honest. You'll be surprised what fish are where. I didn't know there was catfish in Colorado, but apparently there are. I thought it was way too cold over here. Apparently there's catfish in Montana, though, too, and it's colder even in, in Montana. It's like, shit, fucking Montana gets to, like, negative 30, negative 40 degrees up there. That's why you have walleye up in uh, northwest to north. You also have walleye in... I think there's walleye in Colorado too, though. I don't know about the crappies, though. I'm not too sure. So tempted to get a tiny 360 style camera for a unicycle rides. 400 bucks for what? A 360 dollar. Oh no, 360 uh, camera. I was always wondering like how expensive those are, at least when it comes to the beginner level of getting into those. I can only see one purpose of even for one reason for me to get a 360 camera though, and it's mainly doing outdoor stuff. And I can't justify me doing that, because I don't do enough of it. Yep. Oh, all I had to do was move it. <laughs> Sometimes when you're bomb fishing, all I have to do is just move your line at times. You'll eventually... You'll eventually catch something. Oh, look at him. He's so small. He's such a small boy. But oh yeah, you need to carry a stick with it. That's not so. Could is there one you can like put? Um, is there one you can put like on your helmet or something like that? I'm assuming. Have you seen my rides at all? I think I've seen. I don't know if you posted it on Cody's or you posted it on your own Discord, but I've seen I've seen like one or two videos. It's the electric ones, right? That you kind of go on. It's either the ones that you stand on. Yeah, because you have... No, you... I think there was a video of you doing those off-road uh, kind of uni. Yeah, those uni ones that kind of you stand on it like a skateboard in a way. Like skateboard style. And then there's... I don't know if you actually do specifically electric uh, unicycles. If you do specifically electric unicycles that you actually kind of have to sit on the seat and everything, I haven't seen I haven't seen a video of that one yet. Oh uh, man, I should try and see how much I've uh 
how much more bait I have. <laughs> it's like, do I have enough bait? I haven't to post too many to Instagram. Okay. I've been thinking to myself lately is like, man, I need to get back into more outdoor stuff. Other than, of course, you know, fishing, camping, and everything like that. I was like, I need to get into like an outdoor activity that that will force me to go outside, eat, no matter what time of the year. And I was like, I used to like biking, but I'm kind of like on the out, kind of on the outskirts of like Colorado Springs. So, most like, if I wanted to go biking, I would have to... I mean, there are some bike trails nearby, too, though. So I could always do that. I just don't want to be near people. <laughs> it was, like, you know, Colorado always has the tendency to be like, oh, we're known for, like, hikers, snowboarders, skiers. You know, we're, we're the outdoor people, you know? <laughs> but I've lived in Colorado for so fucking long that no, no at least uh, most of the people I know don't do that. <laughs> oh yeah, from Colorado. So yeah, you go to Gold Camp and everything. Uh, Black Forest. I don't know how black how much Black Forest is anymore. Ever since the fires a few years ago, I don't know how beautiful Black Forest is anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but you know because we have we've had a couple of our fires here and there but you know uh yeah near um pike's peak and everything it's all it's all very pretty and everything yeah i would have to say you're like especially if you go just past pike's peak um if you're going from like colorado and you go on the left side of pike's peak um there's a there's a bunch of like old logging like towns and it's just nothing but like open sky and stuff like that so you can get some really good like landscape photography too that that, that shit's pretty <laughs> that's why we call country <laughs> come on I know someone's hungry I mean, look at all the bugs in front of me. You got, there's got to be a fish. <laughs> there's bugs out. That means there's fish. All right, I'm going to cast it towards the lilies now. Thing is, I think I I do feel like I'm using the wrong type of bait. Hook minimum, or what is my hook size right now? Max line string. Uh, let's see. Let's do some blood worms. Stop that. Ooh, nice. I think that was perfect. Ooh, he's close by. One of the customer video reviews. A small camera of the fishing POV that... Oh, <laughs> really? So it actually looks like... How's that point of view of the video, like a video game? Interesting. Oh, hey, there we go. We got a bite. It's a small one. 
It's a hard knock life. Yeah, nothing but crappies biting down over here. That's all right. It's XP. I'm just mainly fishing for XP right now, not a specific type of fish. Pretty much out of coffee. And usually that's the telltale sign that we should be done with the stream pretty soon. So I'll give it an ex extra 20 or 30 minutes and then we'll head on out afterwards and do our own thing. <laughs> At least until like probably Friday. And I'll be probably back Friday and stuff like that and tell you, tell you guys how the uh, preparations for Har Month is going. Man, I wish there was a lake by me. Yeah, if I, I, I miss having either a lake or a couple ponds near me. So when I grew up in Georgia, uh, there was a there's this a bunch of different ponds nearby, surrounded by forest and shit like that. Some good good real estate for fishing. I miss that shit. Yeah, there's a there's a few lakes, but they're not like they're. Like, I think the closest lake will take you about 10 or maybe 20 minutes to get to. So you can't just walk to a lake that's fishable. Because <laughs> we have reservoirs, some of them nearby, but I highly doubt there's any fucking fish in that. And I probably, you probably don't want to catch fish near Colorado Springs anyway. So, yeah, there's not a lot of lakes and rivers near actual Colorado Springs. You know, the one thing I miss from living in Reno, Reno had a river that passed straight through the city. And uh, it was actually a very clean river. Like, they made sure that river was clean because there's a lot of kayakers that would try and uh, go up, go up river with their kayaks. A lot of those extreme kayakers and shit like that in like Reno. I remember that. There's this dude that would was, was I guess just practicing his balancing and just skills and stuff like that. Just by kind of almost like kind of being at the peak of the waterfall. And that's like they would they would just kinda of stay at the end of the waterfall and keep pace with it. And it's like, okay, that's fucking gnarly. <laughs> It's <laughs> looking at that shit. Okay, I know there's fish over there. <laughs> I don't know why they're not biting. It's like my bobber has to be at a specific location for them to even see the worm. It is nighttime too, so I don't think uh, bob fishing is probably the best thing I can do right now. Let's change my setup. Okie dokie, let's see if we can get some walleye or something like that. I 
<laughs> watch all I do is just get a clump of like lilies because <laughs> I'm doing the constant constant motion I wish they would simulate that too though so if you're fishing where lilies are and all that you have to kind of be smart about how like how far your spinner actually is it's like is it below the lilies is it is it right on the top of the lilies if it's on top of the lilies you got to jump your spinner over the lilies so you don't catch any of them so i have to do all that shit and that can get a little crazy Oh, hey, there's something actually bit. That's a walleye. Walleye. I wonder what my progression meter for... Oh, yeah, I have a hat. One second. I've been meaning to put that hat on because my character looks stupid without one. Would it be... Would be under my profile that I need to do that under? No. Or gear. No. Challenges, map, backpack. No. Not rods, not journal. How do I customize my character? Don't you know? That is all the fish I've caught lately. Yeah, there's those pikes. Pretty sizable largemouth bass. Let's see, the biggest largemouth bass was, I think, this one? 4.57 pounds. Oh, that first pike I caught was six pounds. It was way over my line limit because my line strength is only like four and a half something pounds. So I'm actually very surprised I even caught that pike. <laughs> I was like, wait, how the fuck did I catch that thing? <laughs> you can even look at its traits. It's very aggressive. It's a jumper. Last stand. Renewed Vigor, if... Oh, yeah. And it's a Sun Devil. Yeah, and it even points me in the direction where I caught it, so Lake Shore. Shit like that. Oh. I need to remember to keep my uh, stream, lab, stream elements open. Because, uh... Freaking, uh, what's-its-face doesn't show it. Twitch. Wait a minute. Activity feed. Bevo with the tip. Thank you very much. Yeah, I will. I will definitely keep that uh, artwork going, though. I hopefully I am hoping to finish this uh, current art piece that I've showed you and get it done real quickly. <laughs> well, not. Nah, can't get it done real quickly, but as in, as in real quickly, I mean, hopefully in the next few days. <laughs> that's, that's my estimate. Hopefully in the next few days. But yeah, thanks for the 5 -0. Much appreciated. Hmm, petrified trees. I don't know how to change my fucking look. Is it the other menu? Sensibilities. Credits. How the fuck? I don't know. <laughs> Do you know how to change what it looked like? Change. Backpack. I'm like looking and looking at every single sub menu. I just don't know. So these are all fish. 
Coins, figures, loss. That was a wallet. Oh, my biggest catch. Yeah, cool. At least it. Biggest catch, best score. Usually that's going to be the same. Th same shit. Oh, I'm about to level up though. So if I catch like one or two more fish, I'll probably level the fuck up. Let's catch more walleye. And the thing is, thanks to Bevo tipping the stream, I might be able to acquire another horror game for this month. It's coming out month. Because there are some games on sale right now, by the way. So if anyone has like a PlayStation or an Xbox, I think some games are on sale still. Definitely on PlayStation side. There's some there's some good horror games on sale right now. So I suggest you guys if you're looking for some horror games, as long as you don't have them, because <laughs> that's 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 my problem. I already have most of the good horror games, except for well, here's the thing, um, Hyper apparently is getting us Resident Evil 4 Remake, so that's going to be coming up uh, next month. That playthrough is going to be starting. I'm going to be doing that blindly, even though I already know the story and everything of Resident Evil 4. Uh, I will be playing that for the first time on stream next month, so we'll be getting that. I just acquired Homebody from the Game Grumps dudes. Uh, technically one of the Game Grumps guys. Uh, not Dan or uh, Eagle Raptor. It's uh, one of the other. I forgot. I forgot the guy that works, kind of, you know, our friends of Game Grumps and shit. <laughs> he is an official Game Grumps member or employee and stuff like that. But it's like, what is their second or third game? So uh, apparently, a lot of people like Homebody. So I plan on playing Homebody. I'm going to try and give that its own full day of, like, coverage. It's apparently a seven-hour game, though. But it can also range between, like, two hours. It's, like, two to seven hours, depending. I have no clue. <laughs> I don't know how long the game actually is. There's no consistency about it. So I was like, I don't know how fucking long the game is. Oh, there was a walleye chasing it. I don't know why he was so hesitant. I'm not... I'm not doing too slow or fast. Hey, look, if you just bite onto it, I could I could level up at least. Let's get, let's get it. I always, always recommend people, if you don't want to give Amazon money, just directly tip me. <laughs> that's the one thing I will discredit about so, you know, subscribing to the channel, is like half of that money's going directly to Amazon. <laughs> so it was like, oh, well, you're just, yeah, you're kind of supporting the channel, but I don't Because I don't really care about being a partner. I don't need the... Uh, why, what, the certain amount of subscriber points or whatever it is and sustainable oh, subscriber points in order to get partnership Ooh, that's a big boy oh it must be a really big fish what the fuck oh he snapped my line. <laughs> Holy shit. That must have been a big motherfucker. Ooh. Okay, I don't know. Jesus, kind of scared me when he snapped the line. <laughs> okay, I don't need that big of a fish. That one was a little too big. <laughs> yeah, There's no way in hell I was going to catch that thing, especially with my setup. I wonder what the fuck that was. I wonder if it was a legendary fish. It could have been one of the legendaries. Because there are some legendary fish in the waters. I just don't know exactly their locations or anything like that. But it would be very funny. If that was one of the legendary fish. Like, you know what? I'm going to bite down. 
Let's see if this guy can handle me. <laughs> I don't know, that means I lost my uh, spinner and everything. I lost my spinner, I lost a little bit of my line. That fucking sucks. That means I'm gonna have to spend more money. Gosh. I don't think I I don't think I'm gonna be catching any more walleye anytime soon. It depends on the time. Oh, hey, there we go. Okay, not as big of a fish, but he's still pretty big. Still putting some tension on my line. Eh, it's probably going to be like a two, maybe a three pound fish. Eh, maybe not. That's a walleye, though. It is, oh, yeah, two, two point six eight pounds. Not bad, not bad. I think I leveled up, maybe. I got about, ooh, backpack, extension, tackle box, expansion. All right, so I can, I must have leveled up then. I wish it would, like, directly tell me. Uh, Alright, so I need to level up to level 12 in order to get my my jig jig bait. So, let's just keep doing <laughs> Just keep doing that. You gotta keep getting them fishes, you hear? Mm-hmm. 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 Thing is, I could probably invest into some stronger line. So if I invest into some stronger line and maybe even a stronger reel, it might might be all right. Maybe even get some uh, bigger hooks for my spinners and stuff like that. The spinners seem to catch all the really nice fish, all the nice juicy fish. I get those, that'd be nice. Yeah. Mm. I like the fresh juicy fish. I think I need to cast further to the left though, just just off of the lilies. That will probably be a little bit better instead of directly into the lilies, because I I notice my orientation's a little off. So I should probably change that. I don't want to hit one of the bobbers though. Uh, I like that. If I can catch, if I can cast in between those two, perfect. That is directly in between them. And I'm still in the the lilies so it has potential I'll either catch whatever fish that are hanging around the lilies or I'm going to catch a fish that is hanging outside the lilies either way it's a good spot that's my thought process anyway the game might not think about that though the game probably spawns whatever fish randomly because I think the fish Kind of like how Hunter Call of the Wild is. Um, I think fish have to physically be there. And I don't know how they spawn their fish in the game. I don't know if they do it realistically. Can you over... I, the, that's the one thing I'm always wondering. Can you overfish a certain spot? Kind of like in the Hunter Call of the Wild, you can, you can overhunt a certain section of an area. To where if there's a need zone in the Hunter Call of the Wild, it will actually disappear and animals will never go there again until, you know, that, you know, that, that kill zone is very old and cooled down. And it's no longer a death sentence to go there anymore. <laughs> so that's what made Hunter Call, Hunter Call of the Wild really cool, is that you can actually overhunt in certain locations and it would actually get rid of need zones. So that's what made at least Hunter Call of the Wild really cool. So with this one, however, Call of the Wild, the angler, I don't know if that's exactly the case. So far, when you fish in certain locations, there's not like little heat spots. So I don't think there are. 
Never could find any game in Hunter. Can't imagine what it'd be like if you killed everything. Well, the the thing is, at least with Hunter Call of the Wild, uh, when you do kill, like, let's say you hunted a uh, a buck, like just a nice white tail, you know, eight pointer or something like that. And if you kill that, it has a potential to either spawn something, it'll spawn another buck, because you killed a buck, it'll spawn another buck, but it could either be a higher grade buck, or it could be a lower grade buck, and it's all random, just RNG, and it just is always all RNG, but from what I heard from people that are very meta about, and I that's why it kind of ruins the fun for me anyway, but what people do to min-max Hunter Call of the Wild for some reason is that they always say, go and kill the buck that is, you know, hunt whatever animal you're trying to hunt, but hunt the lowest score animal. So that way, when those animals respawn, so you have to kind of like, you know, fast tra travel out of the area and then travel back into the area. When they do respawn, there may be a chance to get like a gold, a diamond, or if there's a possibility, even a great one, depending on the animal species. So you, there's a possibility of spawning the great one. So you just have to, it's almost like a cycle. But that's if, you know, I think there can only be like one great one on, on the whole entire map. So if the great one's already spawned, most likely you can't just force spawn a great one because the great one's already on the map somewhere. You just got to find it. <laughs> and knowing how big the uh, the Hunter Call of the Wild maps are, good luck finding it. <laughs> good luck finding a great one. Since there's only one on the fucking map. And if you fuck up the shot, it, you lose the great one points. It'll just turn into, I think, either a gold or a diamond at the very most so if it's not a clean kill you don't get the great one stats that's a, that's another thing about hunter call of the wild is that you had to you had to worry about is it going to be an ethical shot if it's not ethical don't take the shot <laughs> you won't get your gold or higher trophy and it's not worth it uh, yeah, if I'm looking at it, yeah, there's no heat spots or anything like that. So it doesn't seem like you, you can overfish. I don't know, I'd have to look, I would have to look up a video of someone talking about the, uh, the mechanics of, like, how the angler works. It's like, can you specifically overfish? Because in real life, you can overfish certain spots. Like, you'll, you'll stop getting bites af after a certain point. It's like the fish tend to catch on. Fish aren't surprisingly they aren't really stupid. <laughs> it's like if they see a couple of their buddies getting nabbed, it's like okay, we need to get out of here, and that's tend that tends to happen. Like okay, something fucking weird's going on here. <laughs> it's time to go. I mean, they're dumb enough to get caught, but at the same time, they also have a lot of fish have. Pretty poor eyesight too, so I don't blame them for getting caught. <laughs> and due to the time of the day too, I'm probably not really getting any good chances. As early in the morning, though, you think I would be be prime opportunity to get some fish. <laughs> it's early in the morning in the game. You think this would be the perfect time to actually get some fish? Probably not. Maybe not in this area. I think if I I think if I move and just fish on the other side of the river, it might it might be better. One more in the mag. 38 fish catch and release. Nearly 80 in total. <laughs> I 
it could have been the same fish. <laughs> there are some like some species of the fish, like you'll like release them and everything. And <laughs> there are some fish that are fucking stupid too. Like I do have to say, there was a bass that I there was like one bass I caught like three times in one day, and I knew it was a, it was a specific bass because there was like there was like a scar on one of its fins so at each time i caught a bass i would like check the fin and lord and behold <laughs> there's the fucking there's the fucking like bass that has the same fucking scars like am i catching the same fucking bass all every fucking time <laughs> so yeah the, the, the whole you know release you know catch and release thing sometimes is like you might as well just keep this fish he's gonna keep getting caught <laughs> Like, this fish stupid. <laughs> actually, I'm gonna do three times speed to see if that's actually better with some fish. So it does make me wonder if the two times speed reel in is uh, too slow. I think three times speed is a little too fast, though. Might, might have to slow it down. I'm just gonna do a couple casts. For, oh, oh no! Something got it though. Something was interested in that three times. It going a little bit faster. It's a small mouth. Not the not the biggest one I caught. But it's something. Took me about seven seconds to get it. So it's a bass. So this looks like three times speed is actually pretty decent too. I uh, think it just has to be lucky though. Three times, two times speed. I don't know if anything's interested in a very slow speed like one times. But uh, just have to kind of look. <laughs> Actually, I should see if twitching works. That'd be funny. Something that actually bites on. I think specifically the spinner is mainly for constant, though. Like, I have to be at a constant speed to get the full effects of the spinner. Oh, speaking of. Bring that bitch in. Two point three two pounds. There's definitely bass in this area, though. I just don't know if there's any other fish. It's good to know that I'm catching bass. Hmm. There's one right over there. Yep. Wee! I'll die, you catch a fish. Watch, he won't bite. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, uh, that's not how you catch a fish. Usually my luck, if I see a fish jump out of the water, I'm not going to catch it. I'm not going to be interested. It's like, eh, I already spent most of my energy jumping out of the water. I'm good. Hello, Buckaroo. I'm down at Silver Strand Meadow now, if you wanted to drop by. Why would I drop by? I'm too busy doing my gerb. <laughs> I'm doing my gerb. Oh, hey, uh, speaking of gerb. Hmm. 
not really fighting too much, so it's not too big of a fish. If he was bigger, he would be, be putting a putting up a wallet. Oh, whoa, northern pike, a smaller one. Does look different. <laughs> it's probably because he's small. It's like okay, so we got smaller northern pike over here. It seems like northern pike and small and largemouth basses are going to be all over the place, though. They're the most common. Anything, I think mostly largemouth. I haven't really caught a lot of smallmouths. <laughs> wow. Friday though, after we're done with the coffee stream and all that, we'll uh, check out that update for Sonic Frontiers, see what the update changes and adds and thing like that. I don't know if I'm gonna cover it fully. Just just depends on what they all do, to be honest. If anything, I expect at least a minimum's worth of like a full day's coverage. <laughs> <laughs> Just the minimum. The update better be good because everyone's been talking really good about it. You know, they're so hype about the update. So it's like, okay, man. Usually updates are just updates. I'm just not the updates hardly ever really change too much of a game, but we'll see. <laughs> so I expect this update for Sonic Frontiers to change really change some shit. <laughs> we'll find out. I'm trying not to talk about it too in detail, though, because it's, uh, talking about the update actually spoils the game a little. Oh, son of a bitch, I missed my opportunity. Okay, never mind. Guess I'm not catching that one. But yeah, it's like we finished our playthrough of Sonic Frontiers yesterday. We also, we, we beat the game twice, technically, because, um, like, you know, you have your normal ending, which is like, you know, any of the other difficulties. Holy shit, what the fuck? And then you have a di another, like, a different ending, which is technically, I guess, the true ending, if you play in a hard mode. And you can you can get that ending if you just reload your latest save before beating the game, and then changing the difficulty. And, um, mainly it just gives you, a, you know, without, of course, spoiling anything, an extra boss fight. And that's, and a little bit more context within the boss itself. Because it felt like beating the game on normal. Um, there was some context that was missing. And I think playing on hard mode opens up that context. The BFK connect. Oh yeah, you're, you're, the whole meta event is happening now. Cool, cool. You gotta let me know what the meta dudes are doing. What the fuck are they up to? You plan on ruling the world? Joining Elon? <laughs> Are they going to join Elon when, when it comes to what is Neuralink project? Because yeah, I think um, I think they're at the last little phases of Neuralink. They're just looking for candidates now. Don't snap. Yep, 
that are looking for like their first client they want is a paraplegic no, a quadriplegic yeah i think quadriplegic so because Neuralink at first is going to be meant for those people it's, meant, it's going to be meant to help them recover to pretty much make quadriplegic and paraplegics a thing of the past so that's what Neuralink is supposed to do and then they're gonna evolve Neuralink to be even much more afterwards so that's gonna be fucking crazy if they do that so that's only if there's a willing candidate though because <laughs> you know ethics and everything like that you gotta have someone that's willing to actually do the Neuralink stuff but imagine the first person that has Neuralink in their head it's gonna be fucking crazy man you're gonna make history <laughs> Either in a good way or a bad way. We'll find out once the first candidate actually has Neuralink in their head. This weird, weird scene, Zuck outside. Zuck is outside? I mean, except for, oh, no, he, he does, I mean, he does do jujitsu, but that's inside. That's usually inside. He does, he does, what is it, the surfing stuff? He does that stuff. Zuck is surprisingly more of an outdoors dude, though. The Zuck. <laughs> he does tend to spend his time outside whenever he's not like being a CEO or a COO or whatever the fuck his title is now. So I'm worried. I'm I'm worried about putting something in my head that is connected to possibly the internet, and someone hacking that. I don't know that shit, and fucking with my vision, fucking with my mental state. <laughs> Imagine that. Imagine that shit. Dear Lord. He is now weatherproof. <laughs> the Zuck is now weatherproof. Whoa. It's like at first he was only go he was only able to go down two feet underwater. Now he can go six feet underwater. <laughs> Good for Zuck. Oh, hey, there we go. And apparently the, uh, the Zuckmaster can actually do, he's pretty decent at Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, though, which has always got my attention. Because I practice in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. So I was like, hey, man, I would like to see more of his, uh, scrambles. See how, see how really good he is at Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Yeah, I think I broke a uh, broke a record or two with that one. The Zuck Me Meister. <laughs> He's good at the scramble, if you know what I mean. And I don't want to be biting down, huh? And do it. I don't know. I kind of have a feeling you can like overfish certain areas and you kind of have to move on. Which simulates life. There's fish biting in a certain area. You can only catch so many fish. 
Hopefully they catch on to it. Well, it doesn't help that time passes in this game, so you can't really just... You know, as time moves, I think you need to move too. <laughs> I think you need to move as well. Move with the times. Be with the times. Stuff like that. As the funny thing is, um, when it comes to Horror Month and all that, I already have all of the horror games installed. <laughs> That at least we have. So, all of them on Xbox, on PlayStation 5, all installed. <sighs> it was a lot of installing. <laughs> Surprisingly, I, have a, I, I own a lot of those horror games. Some of them were, some of them are on Xbox Game Pass, and some of them are on uh, PlayStation Plus. There's like two, maybe three horror games I'm gonna have to stream from PlayStation. I don't technically I can't install them they want me to play it through the cloud apparently <laughs> which is a stupid stupid way of presenting a certain games it's like can you just make it to where we have a choice to either stream or install I would prefer to install the games that you have to stream on a PlayStation so that's a better way to handle it I was like look the PlayStation 5, it has the internal storage to install it. So let me install it. <laughs> it's my biggest pet peeve, though, when it comes to PlayStation Plus. It's mainly through... Uh, with uh, PlayStation Plus either premium or extra. When you're trying to play the uh, PS3 games. So if they're classified as PS3, you can't install it. But I think PS2 and PS1 games, you can install. It's only the PS3 games that you can only, you, you can only play them by streaming it through the system. And it's fucking weird. <laughs> Most, of, like when I do the God of War like playthrough, like the franchise playthrough, uh, like, I won't be replaying God of War 2016 and God of War uh, Ragnarok. I won't, I won't be replaying those, but I'll be playing the older God of War games. When I do those, <laughs> like, <laughs> we're going to have to deal with certain problems that we had with the Ratchet and Clank, Clank series. Because most of the Ratchet and Clank series was doing that, um, that service. So it's going to be... Uh, It'd be interesting going through that stuff again. But I am milking PlayStation Plus and Xbox Game Pass for all they're worth until they start to fall apart eventually. Because you, you, you gotta you gotta believe that those those uh, services are eventually going to lose a little bit of their luster after a certain point. There we go. Ooh. Don't snap my line, please. God damn, man. <laughs> Fucking hell. He's gonna snap my line. Yeah, he's a he's a weird kind of fish. That's for fucking sure. He's getting tired though. Oh shit. He must have an extra boost of adrenaline. Oh, it's not even that big of a 
I mean, it's like it's 4.38 pounds, but it's not even the biggest bike I've had. I've kind of like much bigger than that. I swear I heard I swear I heard my dog shake her head. That was weird. <laughs> Alright, let's see. How how much closer am I getting to Oh wait, one second. Change profile, confirm, exit. Okay, never mind. I thought I saw an option to change how my character looks, but never mind. Wonder. Yeah. There's gotta be a way. I swear there is. Oh, hey, I have another slot. Cool. So I can have, like, my spinning reel, I have my bobbing reel, and then I can make another uh, a, a loadout for, like, maybe jigging and stuff like that. I wonder if there is fly fishing in the game, though. They haven't said anything about fly fishing. I don't think I've seen reels that you can fly fish for. It's whatever. But yeah, since I've been out of coffee, I think this is it for the coffee stream. So hopefully you enjoyed it.